well hello guys welcome back to our channel crypto console so before moving to our video if you haven't joined our telegram channel kindly join this is where we post about the node links and github links regarding the nodes and also some telegram boards and the airdrop links all the links will be posted in the telegram channel and uh, if you haven't followed me on twitter kindly follow i post about the node timings and the testnet guides related to that as you can see and this is our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel kindly subscribe and hit the notification icon and tune into all so you can get the instant notification about our videos so you can set up the node and uh, do the testnet task asap so in this video we're gonna see about how to set up zk verify validator node so this zk verify is a high performance public and decentralized blockchain which is used to send the zk proofs to verify their app interaction and uh, extra tricks and all so it is a polka dot uh, ecosystem project also it bridge between the zk sync and polygon so you can uh, read through these docs it has pretty much everything that i mentioned here so just have a visit on it and uh, explore what are the uh, benefits of using this uh, software and all so this is the it will generate proof and uh, a validator will verify it so that's the thing so and join in our community follow me on x the requirement is pretty basic uh, if you bought an vps for previous year which i as i recommended is the vps2 so you can run uh, this node along with it so if you want to buy a new vps uh, vps1 is enough for it but if you want to run multiple nodes on one vps you can go with the vps2 so there is no time frame uh, mentioned in the docs or project in anywhere so i'm going with uh, vps2 for three months you can go with the vps1 with three months or uh, you can also add the uh, same docs with the privacy are node so coming to the node setup i bought vps2 for three months and then i'm going to with as usual update and upgrade your vps and install all the dependencies that's the foremost thing you're gonna do when you buy a vps so the docker installation part if you bought uh, the vps in contabo as i said in the video you don't need to install the docker you just need to install the uh, docker compose so just run these things this is enough for you you can check the docker version once uh, this update thing is finished so the update thing is finished i'm just going to clear for the better view because i already have the docker pre-installed because i bought from the contabo one with the pre-installed docker so as you can see here so i'm going to skip uh, the docker installation i'm going with the docker compose so if you bought VPS from any other service provider, you might need to install the Docker first. For the Contabo, the update thing is enough for it. So, and then add your Docker to the root user. I already have the Docker user. So for this node purpose, you need to add a, another user in your VPS because the root user is not a securable user for running this node. So let me show you one by one. So this is the thing, this is my username, but you want any other user like uh, your name is John and all, so you can change it like that. So I'm going with console, so it's been added and I'm going to add the console user to as a root permission user, you know, which is already have the docker. I'm going to give the permission of docker to the console also, so just enter it. So after giving the permission to docker on console we need to set up a password for your user just for the extra security so just type blindly and then press enter so the password has been updated successfully so we're gonna check now we're going to change the user because we are now in the root user let me quickly change all right and then we just need to clone the repo and then changing the directory see as you can see the user is console and uh, the directory has also been changed so now we're going to initialize the script just copy and paste it now here onwards watch carefully select two we're gonna run the validator node and then select one it is testnet and then here do you want to choose your custom node name give s now i'm going to give crypto console for mine so you can give any name you want and then do you want to import already existing node key here you need to give no which is number two 
type number two and uh, it will automatically pull the docker image and all so just wait for it so the docker image has been created now again do you want to import already existing secret face no type two and press enter and then here again a seed phrase will be created and uh, which will be automatically saved into your this file you can check after uh, running this command which is cat and then copy this thing so if you press enter it will automatically show the secret faces let me check um, so after running cat on the command i showed you will get here 12 word secret face now just open this link which is the sub wallet or uh, app link so we will download as your mobile wallet or an extension wallet so i'm going with uh, chrome so add to your chrome so just import the secret faces that is the 12 words that you copied from the command to your sub wallet so after downloading the sub wallet extension so it will look like this click import a cone and click understand and drag to down Click continue import from seed phrase and then give you a password all right and click understand continue and choose 12 words and uh, paste your seed valid phrases that you copied from the command so click import and then i'm going to zkb i'm gonna give a name that is the zkb nothing at all okay now go to home that's the thing and uh, you need to here click the three dash and then manage networks type zkv and enable it so once here it shows the wi-fi symbol go to here and search zkv copy the address so i copied it and go to the faucet link so just and click get some acme so the token name for the zk verify is the acme after clicking wait for some seconds so already add the faucet let me try with a different device so i can get so in the meantime so this is the command i mentioned here so this is for the console which is my username so you can change your username which i previously showed someone use john as a username you can change the username here or you can just copy the this command which is uh, you are already running in your vps so you already have your username here just copy and then run the command so let me show you this i copied so i copied the command that i showed before and then i paste it press enter so the image will be started and then as you can see docker ps you will able to see the image has been running so let me show you so this update notepad is not required for if you setting up the video in the next two or three days this will be a uh, useful when i say uh, you need to update the node after one week or one month so when i say in the twitter or telegram you just need to run uh, change the user to console when you log in and then just run this uh, command port i show you this I'm just running it for your purpose that is for a for understanding purpose only so you don't need to actually do that so type 2 and then 1 so it will again show you the command to run so after a successful update you will get this command which ends with the force recreate so just copy it and then run it so see it will automatically recreate it and then we'll quickly copy this command to check the logs so see the node is running quite well i'm just going to end this and me quickly show how to complete all the tasks the task will be available in the running a new validator node port so we'll be able to see how to uh, complete all the tasks that you need to set up the validator to go on live and all to how to stay control so let me quickly show that port at first you go to the node dashboard so see i already have an, uh, another node running so this thing will uh, run only if you complete all the uh, node blocks to slink so as you can see the current node block is 3 million 
800k or something but my first node only completed around 2 million 100k so once it uh, reached the block height of 3 million to the current block it will be uh, fully synced and you can able to see the block propagation time and all until then it will only show the infinity symbol so just bear with it quickly also let me check if i have another account is running and all yeah see this is my another account which has 33,000 blocks synced so quickly select so you can just select and uh, because every time uh, you don't need to drive dive into the uh, place to see your nodes running and all so just select and uh, use this space right just click three times so you can your node will be automatically pinned to your taskbar so just don't uh, clear cookies and all if you play the cookies it will be automatically dragged down so that's the thing and then so the task completion part is uh you can also do it before or you can wait uh, until the node blocks to sync up which will only take around couple of hours or at a maximum of six hours it's good to uh, do that after the node sync but for the video purpose i'm going to do with uh, uh, without syncing the blocks and all so so we have successfully set up the node and uh, we just need to complete some tasks so i hope you all uh, save the seed traces so now just go so go to the docs you will find the run new validator node so on that thing just here in the section next steps go to here and copy this command paste it so you will able to see this thing unable to find image and uh, put in the image so you need to paste your seed phrases here that URI right you are able to see a URI so just copy your seed phrase and then paste it here let me quickly do that so I pasted my secret face and I got this secret seed public key and all now I'm again going to do that because we need to send some proofs we get two different uh, the public keys but the secret seed uh, will be a same so as you can see this end with f6b and here it end with d039 so now go to this site the polka.js.org so and then when you went to this site you will have a pop-up in your sub wallet to connect to this site so just agree it and then go to developer and then extrinsics so after that here you will be able to see what you're gonna do here so you need to have the session type session all right and then here set keys proof so at the base you need to copy the public set the first from the first one you need to copy the public key hex and paste it here and at the end and then at this middle part you need to copy the public x from the second one so just paste it and then type 0x okay and then click submit transaction so you can able to see this sign and submit so just click approve so you will have the notification and then after a successful approving you will uh, see the green tick mark so after that so the next thing you need to do is this taking port is you need to check the chain state go to chain state and type staking and then here type error double s and you will see the summary of validator exposure so just click it so this thing will uh, only work when the full block is synced but you can also it, this is just a verification you, you don't need to uh, check and all so just click plus and you will be able to see the square bracket so that's enough for now so this thing will uh, enable once the all the blocks are synced so just and next thing is we need to uh, stake so just go extrinsic and then type stake and then it is now it has need to be in the bond value pay okay just do that and then type so if you have the 10 tokens uh means you just need to do with eight or seven or something because you need another token for your gas fees and all so these things type this so you will have the account id of yourself so and then submit transaction sign and submit so just follow the doc that's the only resources we have now so see that's all this so i have a uh, in block in the timing so just go to network and click staking all right so at first it won't show you the in block and all or uh, whatever you were waiting so you it need to sync your full block and the one epoch need to be end and all so i need to wait around six and a half hours the epoch period with it so just bear with it 
and then check later once your blocks are synced so after the successful staking we need to become a validator so as you can see so the staking pod has been finished so for becoming a validator go to extrinsic and then type staking on here type validate so you have rips click here so this thing is uh, for 10 percent of commission you need to enter like eight zeros so for five percent you can go with uh, seven zero one two three four five six seven so i'm going with the ten percent so let me type another seven zeros one two three four five six so there's the thing for the ten percent commission okay for the block pool it always had to be no so see and then click submit transaction So click approve so we'll have the confirmation here itself see it's in the in block and the event has been executed so that's for the validation part as you can see this you can check the logs local peers local logs let's go f validator node so see these are the proofs that all other has been sending and uh, We'll have also the parallel block syncings. So it is 2.4 blocks per second. So as you can see, the number has been increasing. So it is a good process of syncing the blocks. So just wait for a couple more hours, your blocks will be synced. So I'm gonna exit the context. So that's it for the node and task bot. So you can able to see here, you can claim rewards for the previous 30 era approximately one week. So I believe there is a temporary to claim your rewards. So this is the error points so you can able to see it right so you will get points for your uh, proof sense so just uh, for now the validators are filled i think there are only 10 validators and there are also been 22 validators in the waiting so we need to wait until the team gets uh, more slots so once they get uh, you will be able to become a validator for the reward sending part you just need to uh, stake the token so you will also be able to or uh, in the arrow points so just uh, do these stops and uh, just wait for the uh, validators to be increased so we can have the uh, validator slot to be filled so i will uh, follow up on the project more often and also update any key events happening in the project in my twitter so kindly follow and if you have any doubts join our telegram channel i'll see you guys in another video until then stay safe bye bye